you know, it's going to be interesting to see how the golf course plays over the next two days. Um, I think we're all a little surprised that, you don't want to say it's played easy, but um, the pins have been pretty gettable. Greens have been manageable. Um, I think the USGA was, was, you know, obviously wanted to steer clear of any controversy in the first couple of rounds, given what's happened in the last two years. Um, so I'm very interested to see how, you know, barring we might get some rain tonight, maybe a little bit more tomorrow, which would obviously soften up the greens. I'm very curious to see where they put the pins. And then Sunday in particular, you know, are they going to roll out the greens, really bake them out, and make it make it a classic U.S. Open test? Because uh, we've not seen that over the first 36 holes. Should they, though? Do you think it's important for them to kind of trick it up a little tomorrow, yeah, pull out all the stops? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know you need to trick it up. But, again, depending on, on what happens with the weather, yeah. that's, that's there's only so much you can control. But... Um, I think there's a few spots out there where you can make these these whole locations a little more difficult. Um, obviously, there's a lot of flexibility with the tees. Um, you know that that par three mentioned earlier. There are five different tee boxes up there, so mm. there's there's a lot of versatility in this golf course. A lot of things that give uh, Mike Davis and the USGA folks um, uh, some flexibility to to make holes longer, or shorter, or however they want to mix things up. So it's going to be fun to watch.